small town politics turned into a literal turf war in Coweta County. So there were some allegations of conspiracy, visits from the FBI, and a nearly year-long investigation, all regarding new turf for the high school football field. Ryan Kruger joins us to break down this wild story. You don't think that we're going to talk about an FBI yeah. investigation about a turf at the football right, field. Right, at a yeah. football field. Yeah, well, so this all started when a local man basically accused the Coweta County School Board of rigging the vote to order to build those new high school football fields. There was a nearly 10 month long investigation. This was the report I got my hands on 161 pages. It Ooh. says all of those claims were bogus and a waste of taxpayer money. The boys at East Coweta High School played this year on brand new state of the art turf, but the real battle took place far from the football field. Last year, a local man accused the school district of conspiracy, bid rigging and fraud, even threatened a lawsuit. He charged that when the district put out bids for a brand new turf, there was only one possible company that could have won the bid, Deluxe Athletics, the group that ultimately built the new fields. But a new report just obtained by 11 Alive says those allegations were false. We find no evidence that a Board of Education member or any school system employee engaged in bid rigging, conspiracy to defraud or racketeering, the report says. And it gets worse. It goes on to say that school board member Linda Mink, the only one who voted against the turf last year, was actually doing so to help out a competing turf company. Mink couldn't be reached for comment. The school board spent more than $5 million renovating three fields and more than $100,000 on this report. School district officials didn't want to comment on camera, saying the report speaks for itself. And Ryan, you learned there's actually a lot of heat toward this one particular school board member. Yeah, so the report goes on and on about uh, school board member Linda Mink. It says that she withheld emails from the investigation, wouldn't answer questions. And in fact, it actually says she's actually really good friends with the original person who oh. sent the complaint and started this whole investigation okay. in the first place. There's actually one school board member who says they want her off the board right now. Well, the Ooh. school board member's not the only one because there's a petition online right now trying to get her kicked off the school board. Someone started a change.org petition that would actually force board member Linda Mank to be removed from the Coweta County Board of Education. However, right now, I'm pretty sure the only person who can remove her from that position is Governor Kemp. Yeah, and we'll see what that happens as time goes on. It's it's a problem you run into a lot with elected officials, too. Right, it yeah. is. And so that story is going crazy online. So many people talking about it. So many people fired up.